A few weeks ago, Capcom unveiled something rather interesting. The Capcom Pro Tour kicked off with some new material. Character colors, an alt costume for G and Seth, but also, interestingly, a drastically new stage for G himself. This stage isn't just another arena, <laughs> no, no, no. It seems to blatantly set up G as a big villain. In my last two videos, I have basically theorized that G is some sort of mastermind, akin to an evil syndicate leader in a tokusatsu show, and that the Q we see from Third Strike may be a minion or a rebellious victim of G. I also stated that I feel all of G's willing or unwilling underlings all have a similar look to his story costume. Especially since the developer showed the image of a male and a female in a replica of G's story outfit. Well, with the new stage, we have a floating space station and a camera crew who are wearing G's alternate costume mask. Does this mean that G is an alien? So far, I personally would say absolutely not. In the store description, Dan states that G got so successful with the earnings from his Let's Fight streams, he was able to buy the station. Now, while this is a bit out there, it's not so outlandish. After all, Karin Kanzuki has her own deadly space satellites, the Red Spider Lilies. She uses one in her ending in Alpha 3 and references it by name in A Shadow Falls. Welcome to the Ring of Galaxy stage! It features a large number of NPCs in the audience, including a few astronauts floating around. It's staffed by a few men, who I previously noted have G's story-styled mask. The men are well-dressed in slacks, crisp white shirts, vests, ties, and each have an armband that says staff. They follow the characters around the arena, gathering footage. The stage is enormous and features two gigantic statues of G, placed at an angle to create the optical illusion of him holding the Earth. A Twitter user, Tanuki, presented me with these aerial shots. It's a really beautiful, boss-worthy stage, wouldn't you say? My hat's off to the development team. They really put in a ton of detail with this stage. As we can see, this stage is all G. We see his name and iconography plastered here and there, but here, directly above the fighting space, we see the sun, the clouds, but also, we see animals, bugs, and even aquatic life represented. Hmm. G's really taking this having dominion over all of Earth and over every creeping thing that creeps thing seriously. Well, that's it for now. I guess we can move on Take to- Take a closer look, citizen of Earth. You missed something. Whoa, 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 wait. How did you, uh, oh. Oh, wow, there's more. I'm being handed a note. I missed out on this completely, but the previously mentioned Twitter user, Tanuki, has more for me. You'll want to see this. Tanuki sent me something rather surprising about Sakura and her new default look for Street Fighter V. Since her arrival into 5, I have not noticed this. Tanuki noted that Sakura's default costume description on the CFN site states that she's in her work uniform, but doesn't state where exactly she works. He then pointed out something pretty notable. If you look at Sakura's headset, there's a blatant silver G on it. Moreover, it looks like the G insignia all over G's stage, and the very one he wears in his Capcom Pro Tour 2021 costume as a necklace. Hey, don't both G and Sakura's default costume vaguely look similar? Tanuki's eagle eye noticed that too, 
Both are well-dressed, wearing black and white with a bit of red and a vest. G's got gold all over the place, but surprisingly, Sakura does too. Again, I never have noticed this. Take a good look at that fancy new scarf. Golden chains? Hmm, I wonder what that's about. Time will tell if there's more to this or not. So, final thoughts on this section before going back to Street Fighter 3. I'm no stranger to wild speculation and making a mountain of the tiniest molehills. But other than just being clad in the Capcom colors, does it seem weird to anyone else that all these new CPT colors have the characters rocking golden eyes? Also, these are called the refueled costumes. I mean, did they get a power boost from G? <laughs> Unless... Well, the slogan in the trailer does say, The world is yours for the taking. So, maybe G's starting off slowly? Who knows where things will go? Shoryuken.com and Megashock user Shakunetsu once reminded me of this old arcade promo for Street Fighter EX2 when I mentioned on the forums my theory that G kidnaps and converts people. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild if that's how he... Uh, wait, wait, wait a second... <laughs> As a parting thought on Q, while recent revelations have not provided new information directly about him, I think the theory that I and others have shared about there being multiple agents of G, or Q's, looks more likely every day. I don't think G is the Q we play in Third Strike. Heck, I'm wondering if even through Third Strike there are multiple Q's. As I pointed out in my video, Man of Mystery, there's some weird inconsistency with Q's skin tone. The very few frames that show his skin appear to be tanned rather than shadowed. Here are the hex values for the colors of his skin. Hopefully, the near future of Street Fighter has more for us to investigate. After Road to a New Generation and Street Fighter VI released, not much has happened with G or Q. But that's not to say that nothing has happened. So far, G has made two cameos in Street Fighter VI. The first was in Guile's ending art. In this piece, at a Metro City barbershop, a few recognizable fighters are seated. Guile, Luke, and old Abigail. There are several posters on the wall featuring Easter eggs. G is present on a poster, and it looks like he's recruiting for an army. Could he be mobilizing to gain more followers in an aggressive push for power? It's impossible to say how old the poster is in universe, but it points to him being active in his President of the World persona, seemingly after Street Fighter V. It's unknown whether or not this is intended to be canon. On a second, more recent piece, at the end of the Happy Holiday Fighting Pass trailer, you can see a picture of various elements, but G as Santa Claus is having his sleigh pulled by Rashid. While this is meant to be a fun piece of art, it's another G cameo. It shows that Capcom still wants him around, wants people thinking about him, and he's being presented in his President of the World identity. There has not been a trace of Q so far in Street Fighter VI, but given that he has been stated to have been around as of Street Fighter II, being chased by Viper in Street Fighter V, and been playable in Street Fighter Third Strike, and possibly has tan skin, I feel all this further adds to my theory that G and Q are completely separate people. Depending on the validity of the elements of the Ring of Galaxy stage and its staff, along with the concept art, 
I feel even stronger that Capcom is pointing to G being a leader while his subordinates wear clothing similar to his story costume, with Q being a special case. That's it for now. I just wanted to address these small findings while I work on something a bit more grim. Happy New Year, and thanks for watching!